Hello, my friends. In the Smodlink project, I am building a multi-part project of the Bell Hue Iroquois UH1C variant in scale 1 to 35 from Revel. Finally, after such a long time, this is the box of the legendary Bell Huey UH1C, in scale 1 to 35, from Revel, for skill level number 5 also known as the hardest level. The box includes 245 parts, the length of the helicopter is 46 cm and the blades are 41.8 cm. As you can see it's a big one. This is the back side of the box, with some extra information and photos with details. Let's open the box. First of all the manual, which I like the fact that Ravel makes it in color. I wish more companies would do the same. Plenty of decals that are for three different versions. I will see later on which version I will do. The manual is detailed with plenty of information about the sprue, assembly, decals, etc. It is almost an 80 steps manual which means that with my new work and life commitments, I will be done in about two years with this project. Oh boy! First are the cockpit's clear sprue, the main body sprue which is quite big. These must be ammunition or something and they are soft plastic. The body seems to have plenty of details. A couple more sprue related to weapons and cockpit. detail just like the body. The last two sprue. It is very nice that the kit includes the crew figures. These are the engine, interior, etc. parts. Let's go. Starting with the cockpit, cutting and then smoothing out the parts with the hobby knife, file, and, or sandpaper. When needed, using the hobby knife carefully in the opposite direction, to avoid cutting or damaging the parts. We'll be finishing and preparing parts off camera too. Attention! Keep always in mind, that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry.
Here I will have to open some holes. Mini drill and drilling four holes. More holes on this part. Whole lot of drilling going on. We'll finish off camera. Done. And cut open these parts too. Also, did these ones. Gluing time. Prepared the stretcher carriage but I will glue it after the paint job. The seats have some belt details, but I will remove them since I will be placing the pilots on them. Removing. Gluing.
need to remove this. Back to gluing. These inside parts are done. On to the crew now. with the crew. Thing is that I didn't know that the kit included a crew, so I had ordered some resin figures, which as you can see, have more details on them. I haven't decided which ones I will use. We will see. German Panzer Grey Primer and Airbrushing.
made my decision. I will use the resin figures instead of the kit ones. However, as you can see, three of them don't have glasses. So, using Polystrian Sheet 0.25mm, I will add glasses to them. Not as good job as the original, but still. Airbrushing US Olive Drab. Mix sunny skin tone and little bit of pale brown. Painting the face. Two, maybe three coatings. Any mistakes, I will fix them later. Heavy cocky painting the vest and gloves. boots, weapon holster and glasses with matte black. Did the knife fuff camera. Highlights now with a mix of US olive drab, white and yellow. Did this little mic with some wire off camera. Flesh washing the face. Black washing. Dry brushing with a mix of US olive drab and white. Crew is done.
I did a mustache on this figure. The manual had an error regarding the inside's paint job. It mentions the letter M that cannot be found in the manual. I went online and found out that it should be medium gray. I will use the USAF medium gray. Airbrushing. Sight mat. Yusaf Olive Drab. Did the fire extinguishers off camera, and with Yusaf Olive Drab I did these boxes. I will paint the seats with US Olive Drab, and their shields with Yusaf Olive Drab. Mix of deep green and gunship green, 50-50. Silver Metallic. Will not make any details since this will be covered. Did some decals off camera. Mix decal set before placing the decals and mix decal fix afterwards. The first prepares the surface and the second takes care of any curves, bumps, etc.
pressing with a cotton swab to take away the excess air or liquids below the decal without damaging it. When things have dried very well, then we use the decal fix. Depending on the decal's placement, you may need to coat twice. Finish the decals and place the first pilot. Super gluing the second pilot. Prepared masking tape and special copper wire for jewelry 0.3 millimeters for the seat belts. We'll finish off camera. Making the seat belts like so. Do not mind the wire job, since it will be kinda hidden. Painted the belt with grey and little bit metallic, attaching and super gluing. Place the stretcher carriage, chipping with use of light gray and this little sponge. Some rust work. Enamel dark brown washing. Some dark washing.
Little Brown Washing. Remove some of the excess wash with a cotton swab. Removing some more. Dark Earth Pigment. Removing the excess pigment. Hopefully you like the project, and please be patient for the release of its presentation. Because I love this amazing art, and I strive to be better, please do help me by sharing your words of wisdom in the comments below. To be continued. Hit the like, subscribe, and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more Bell UH1C inspired content, as well as for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.